I'm Dr. Dee Barnes and I'm the author of Master in the Arts of Test Taking. And today I have another uh, math question for you. And this is another one I pulled off of, a, of, off of a college assessment site. And on these assessment tests, you want to try to get the highest possible score that you can because if you don't, it could set you back in graduating a year or two. Very serious business and cost you a lot of money because you end up taking classes that you don't get college credit for. You'll get credit, but that credit doesn't go towards your degree. So you want to take the assessment test seriously. And here's a, a, a question that I have for you from one of those uh, tests. So I want you to act like you're like an Einstein and go into the exam, put your foot in the thing and take a look at the questions and examine them at a critical level. So let's take a look at this question that I have here that again, I pulled from the website and we'll go over it. Now, this question is numerical skills, pre-algebra. So the first thing you do when you have to look at the question, again, this is not one of those that you have to cover all the choices. It's math. You have to solve the problem basically to get to the answer. So what we really want to do here is take a look at what kind of question this is and why they're asking you this question. Why are they asking me about 54 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 6? What they really want to know if you know how to solve this in the proper order. Like what do you solve first, second, third, and so forth. So now what I want to do for those people who have a little bit of issue with math is I'm going to break the problem up and show you how to quickly solve it and move on to the next question. So let's take a look at how to really solve it. So what I'm going to do is break it up for people who really are having a little struggle with math and you have to try to understand how this works. When you're dealing with division, I always call it sticky. They stick together. So six divided by two is going to be together. The sign in front of the six always goes with the six. The sign in front of this six stays with this six. So if you have a positive sign or a negative sign, regardless of, of which one it is, it's always going to stay with the number that it's in front of. And because the, 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 the uh, division sign is between the six and the two, they're all sort of stuck together. So, with that said, I've broken it down for you, and here it is in broken down form. 54, negative 6 divided by 2 is going to give you a negative 3 and plus 6. So, if I just added that up real quick, 54 minus 3 is 51, plus 6 is 57. And there's your answer. So, I've, I've broke it down for you. I'm trying to give you a critical way to, to think about math because that's what I had to do. I had to literally break it down to try to understand how to solve the problem. Once I learned how to do it and you can understand the order of operations, then the, the, the solving the problem becomes very easy. You know immediately in looking at the problem that this all goes together. And once you know that that all goes together, you can easily see that the answer has to be greater than the 54 that's, that's sitting there. So once you see that, you know that, don't waste your time on the question. Circle E and go on to the next one because that E has to be the answer. So what they've done with these assessment tests is they've made them really easy for you to pull the correct answer out if you know the basic information in math. You can easily pull out the, the, the answer without even solving the problem. So you have to use a strategy and think about these things when you're taking the test and not waste a whole lot of time uh, going through the steps of solving every single problem on a multiple choice test. They're not trying to see your work. They're trying to see the answers. So this is another segment of Mastering the Art of Test Taking. I hope you found this little snippet helpful. I'll do another one for math and some other test questions in the future. Get that A, keep that A, and continue studying, and I'll see you on the next one.